79 years old. What's the first thing that springs to mind? A large tree, perhaps? An old building? A grandparent? What about a really old fish? Any of these would be correct. But what if I'd said a tireless ocean warrior? Meet Dr. Sylvia Earle. At 79, you may think she's reached her twilight years. But for her, age is just a number, and it hasn't stopped this modern-day explorer from pushing boundaries wherever she can. Her love for underwater diving has earned her the affectionate nickname, Her Deepness. She is a marine biologist who is passionate about the ocean, and like the ocean, her passion overflows across the entire planet. So much so that Time magazine named her their first hero of the planet, and in 2012, Lego even made a figurine of her. 97% of our world's water is found in the ocean, and Sylvia is fiercely protective of this blue heart. During a special visit to South Africa recently, Sylvia launched six hope spots. But what is a hope spot? A hope spot simply is a place that is cause for hope. That is, for the ocean, can be a pristine area. It will spill over positive effects to surrounding areas. A hope spot can also be a place that is in need of help, where if people care and if people invest, you can restore a place to a better state than when you begin. In this day and age, the ocean is actually facing a lot of problems. There are problems like overfishing. There is the concern about global warming, ocean acidification. And one of the most important things that the ocean does for our planet is provide oxygen. In fact, the oceans provide about 70% of the oxygen that we be, breathe on this planet. So it's important to look at the ocean beyond just a food source or a recreational source. It's actually our life support systems. I understand the importance of air, because when I go down with the cylinder, I know I've got a time limit. All we're doing right now by killing our oceans is putting a time limit on our lives, similar to that of a cylinder, that without the oceans, Without the blue, we will not live. We are seeing change at an unprecedented rate. But the good news is we have the capacity to see the world as a whole. The land counts, but not nearly as much as the ocean. And we have neglected the ocean, thinking that it's so big that nothing we could do could harm it. But, you know, now we know. That's why hope spots so important. In 2009, Sylvia won the TED Prize. This is an award given to someone who literally wants to change the world. These may be big words, but they spurred this remarkable woman into action, and she launched her organization, Mission Blue. The mission? To highlight and establish marine protected areas or hope spots all over the planet. 12% of land is under some form of protection, but less than 3% of the oceans have this privilege. Hope spots are designed to create public awareness, starting with every individual and working up. With awareness, these links can grow into partnerships and working groups to ensure hope spots become fully protected areas in the future. For this global initiative to work, local people on the ground all of us need to get involved. Mission Blue is the organization that runs the International Hope Spot Initiative. Sustainable Seas Trust runs a South African initiative, and we are partners in that. And then Sylvia Earl is a link as well, because she is the patron for Sustainable Seas Trust. From the cold green waters of the beautiful Cape, up the coast to the warm tropical seas of KZN, enthusiasm for this project has bubbled over. This is a mission where everyone can get involved, and it is led tirelessly from the front by Sylvia herself. Even the smallest contribution can have an impact. The fishermen, coastal walkers, 
holiday makers and even local restaurateurs see things over the years that may be a vital piece of information that scientists have missed. So everyone plays a part in a hope spot. So I love what I see. That's what we stand for. I think that's what Madiba left behind. It was loving the legacy and ensuring that we keep South Africa good, clean, healthy and blue. And successes are obvious. The Gulf of California had a 400% increase in fish populations after they protected their waters. Ecotourism is booming, which is good news for all businesses. The fish are winning, and so are the people. I mean, I can't do it better than Dr. Sylvia Earle herself. But she's right. A hope spot is a place where it all starts from. If we protect, conserve, love and care for that hope spot, if everything fa fails around the ocean, that hope spot is exactly like the word says, hope. It's where it will all begin and flourish from all over again. By definition, the noun hope is the want or desire for something. But as a verb, the word infers action. And that is exactly what these hope spots are doing. They are creating a desire for better protected oceans and bringing us together for the sake of the future, for both sea and us.